Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this videos, we are going to explore our trigger analysis tool. Basically, we are going to do uh, three steps. First step, uh, analyze the code. Second step, complete the code. And third step is to test the code to make sure is, uh, is that everything is running perfectly. So let's run the, the, the tool itself. Whenever you run the uh, tool, it gives you such user interface. It asks for the tasks Excel sheet. So this is uh, the file that has been generated. Previously, this is the Excel sheet. And now let's start analyzing form by form. I'm going to do one form completely. Now it displays to you all triggers. So I know that I have 22 triggers here. Now whenever I have a look at something like this, okay, so this means that, okay, this is commented, is setting the window properties, we don't need these things in ADF, but is uh, creating a list of value from regions uh, ordered by ID companies dot region disk. He's doing this uh, for region description. Okay, but whenever I take a look at the original form, region description does not need a list of value. There is a list of value already on the region ID, so I don't need this trigger. So I mark this as no need. Now key next item. Okay, it's not uh, needed because this is standard functionality in ADF. It doesn't require a trigger in ADF. And the tool generates this next button. So I don't need actually this trigger. So as you can see, very easy to use the code in order to get through the code and detect that this is used or not used. So this is not needed. The other it's none, so for sure it's not needed. It's not doing it. it's not doing anything. Now on error and on message will actually in ADF they have very excellent uh, uh, way of showing the error messages. So on error and on message we don't need them because of the technology. Key exit, we don't have uh, an exit functionality in browsers. It's just you close the browser. So we don't need also this trick. Now key that trick. Now what he's basically doing is that he's uh, doing select statement, checking if there is data, then you cannot delete it. So basically, this has been done automatically also by the tool. The tool is giving you this confirmation message, and if uh, uh, there are details, so it's not allowing you to delete the record. So this is not needed because of the tool. Okay, now post query is selecting uh, the uh, uh, ID into region description. Okay, this is needed because this is what returns the transient uh, attributes. Okay, when you item instance. Okay, now we basically checking if this is the last record, then do not enable the next button. Uh, this also is automatically done by ADF, no need to create any code. So this is not needed because of ADF. Pre-insert is selecting sequence uh, into ID from door. Okay, this is needed. When validate item. Okay, now he's doing a select statement to make sure that there are valid uh, records. But the thing is, in Oracle ADF, when you have a list of value, then automatically this validation is done. So actually, I don't need this trigger because of ADF technology. Region description is checking that region description is not null. Okay, this is should this should not be done in region description. This should be done in the region ID. This is the field that is editable. Region description is a display item, so I don't need this because of the wrong implementation. 
Now, when this changes, then he's bringing the reason description. This is automatically done using the list of values, so I don't need this trigger as well. Now, this is the name. Okay, he's checking that the name is uh, not null. Okay, I need this trigger. Delete is the standard delete functionality, it's not needed. Okay, this is the commit, not needed also. It's generated from the tool. Okay, don't need also this trigger. Now this is... Okay, now we are exploring... Next is not needed uh, as well. Okay, now uh, this is not uh, needed also. Okay, now comes the procedures. Now, procedures uh, should be called in order to get executed. So, how to make sure that it is called or not? So, basically, I'm going to go to the whole text as file and find the next trigger occurrence. Okay, so it is called in uh, when you form uh, instance. Okay, and here this is the trigger itself. This is its code, so it's not used anymore. This means that this trigger is actually being used. So I need this trigger. not needed. On message also we remove, it's not needed. Okay, this is showing an alert in case uh, delete fails. Okay, this is not needed also because this is done automatically using the tool. Confirmation message is automatically done by the tool. No need to do anything. Okay. Uh, we removed also this trigger, it's not needed. And again, any message is automatically generated by EDF, so this is not needed till now. Okay, all these messages are not needed. And here comes the trigger itself along with its signature. Okay, so it's not used anymore, so this means uh, to us, this trigger uh, is also not needed. So this means that I have five triggers needed out of uh, 22. So we have 17 triggers that are not needed and five are needed. So I'm going to save to save in the Excel sheet. Now, uh, this is also a benefit of the tool, is that in order to get these things analyzed so quickly, it's impossible for anyone. You must open each and every form and try to navigate each uh, item to make sure that uh, it, it has triggers. Extract those triggers and document to the developer that this is needed or not needed. You cannot do this so quickly as done by the tool. Okay, let me close this and return again to the Excel sheet. Okay, it's a delivery. I'm going to deliver this Excel sheet to the developer. Suppose that he's going to work on one form only. 
Okay, number of needed triggers is 5 and number of needed lines is 46. Now the developer is going to receive this uh, information. He can start doing only the needed triggers. This is what we are going to do in the next video. But from analysis point of view, the tool really has done an excellent effort. It's giving you all the triggers. You can easily analyze the code. And the purpose of analysis is going to be very clear once we finalize completing the code in next video.